cord. And it's funny because you forget all of the things that you have passwords for until you have to re-enter all of the passwords. Let's see, I am going to go ahead, get some music started. Let's see, there we go. And then we'll get started down on our backs. Soles of our feet together, knees out wide. Starting to connect with the breath. Breathing into a four count. Holding to a four count. And exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs all the way to the tops of your throats and then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats down through the ribs the lungs all the way to your bellies as though you're wringing water from a washcloth bringing navel into spine just want to tell everyone, I'm sorry, I'm not turning my phone off completely because I realize that the carpet installers have my number and I definitely don't want them to not come because they can't find us. So they should be here between eight and 10. Of course, that's a huge window. <laughs> Again, starting to connect with the breath. Breathing in to a four count, holding to a four count, and exhaling to a four count. Perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, time. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. And exhale. Two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to the same rhythm. <clears throat> Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times.
connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that intention with one deep inhale. And one deep exhale. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale knees to the left, arms to the right. Look over that right shoulder and breathe. Again, breathing into this simple twist, opening up your right obliques as you do. <clears throat> Inhale back to center. Exhale, knees to the right, arms to the left. Look over that left shoulder and breathe. Inhale back to center, wrap your arms around your knees, grab opposite elbows, rock back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. Then grab your insteps, drag your knees down towards your shoulder blades. Push up with your feet, pull down with your hands in happy baby. Again, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys as you do. Breathing in and out. Good job. And then from here, bend your knees at a 90 degree angle, flex your feet, arms are out east and west, inhale first, exhale as your knees fall down to the left, but don't touch. Inhale back to center, exhale down to the right, but don't touch. Inhale to center, exhale down, to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale down to the right. <clears throat> Inhale to center. Exhale down to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale down to the right. We'll do two more or seven more depending on where you are. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left, inhale to center, exhale to the right, inhale to center, exhale to the left, inhale to center, exhale to the right. And again, you can stop here or follow us, exhale to the left. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Inhale to center, exhale left. Inhale to center, exhale right. And again, two more if you're with us. Inhale to center. Exhale, left. Work in those obliques. Inhale to center. Exhale, right. Inhale to center. Exhale, left. Inhale to center. Exhale, right. Good job. Inhale back to center. Draw your knees in. Rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. And then from here, exhale as you allow your legs to come down to the end of the mat. 
lift your buttocks, place the palms of your hands underneath your buttocks. Walk your elbows in, inhale as you push into the mat with your elbows. Coming up onto the crowns of your heads in Matsyasana, fish pose. Breathing in and out, increasing your immunity. Again, opening that area between your rib cages, opening your sinuses. And let's do three lion's breaths. Inhale through the nose and then breathe it out, sticking out your tongue. Inhale. Again, inhale. One more time, inhale. Inhale as you push into your elbows, coming back onto the backs of your heads. Exhale as you release your hands and roll over onto the left side. Left elbow, left palm of your hand down. Inhale that right knee in, grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you. And again, drag that right shoulder back and down, breathing in and out. Possibly grab onto your calf and pull it in. Again, infinity pose. Inhale that right knee in. Exhale down to the end of the mat. Roll over on to the right side, right elbow, right palm of your hand down. Inhale that left knee in. Grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you. Again, drag that left shoulder back and down. Possibly grab on to your left calf dragging it towards you. Wherever you are is perfect. Inhale, that left knee in. Exhale, extend below you. Draw those knees in, place your hands behind your thighs. Spinal rolls from shoulder to tailbone and back again. Allowing each vertebra to come back into alignment. So we'll do three or four of these. Hopefully on a soft surface. And come up to the tops of your mats. In Sukhasana. Simple seated pose. Good job, everyone. And then from here, inhale first. Exhale as you exhale. Extend that right leg, flex your foot. We're moving into gatekeeper. Place that right hand over your right knee. Inhale that left hand up and over as you slide your right hand down. Finding those left, uh, those right toes with your left hand in gatekeeper. Dragging that left shoulder back and down, left hip down. And smile, it's Wednesday. Inhale back to center. Exhale first. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, reach, reach with your fingertips. Drag your hearts down, maybe place your third eye on the mat, rocking it back and forth, opening your intuition. And again, keep your knee facing the ceiling, keep your foot flexed. Humbly bowing, gatekeeper. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. 
Exhale as you walk them to the left, grabbing onto the left knee with your right hand. Bring that left hand back, twisting, releasing toxins, massaging your internal organs. Inhale, that left arm up and over. Find your right toes. In twisted Janya Shashasana. Again, opening that whole left side of your body. Inhale, that right arm moves. Exhale, down, chin to shin. In traditional Danya Prashasana. And again, possibly place that left hand over your left kidney, forcing the breath into your kidney. Breathing in and out. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend that right knee. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that left leg. Place your hand on your knee. Inhale that right arm up and over as you slide your left hand down. Into gatekeeper again, dragging that right shoulder back and down, right hip down, breathing in to those right obliques and smile. Inhale back to center. Exhale first. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, pull forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach. Fingertips come down, hearts come down. Again, maybe your third eye comes down, rocking it back and forth, opening it up. Inhale as you walk your hands back again. Exhale as you walk your hands to the right, grabbing on to your right knee with your left hand. Bring that right hand back, twisting, releasing toxins. Inhale, that right arm up and over. Find those left toes in twisted Janusrasana. And smile, opening up that whole right side of the body. Inhale, that left shoulder through. Exhale down to traditional Janusrasana, chin to chin. Possibly place that right hand over your right kidney, forcing the breath into your kidney, keeping it healthy. Again, breathing in and out. Things happening on the BBC. I believe that I heard my dog's barking fellow, so I think that they must be here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and turn it back on after practice. Good job. Inhale back up again. Exhale as we bend that knee, sitting up straight. Good job, Utsukasana. Then from here, place your fingertips on the mat. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale as you bend your elbow. 
placing the palm of your hand in between your shoulder blades. Inhale, that left arm up, grab your elbow and pull over to the left, opening up that right shoulder, looking up to the right side. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale, down, big job. Inhale that left arm up. Exhale as you bend your elbow. Again, place your hand in between your shoulder blades. Inhale that right arm up. Grab your left elbow. And exhale over to the right. Again, breathing in out. Inhale, both arms up, exhale down, good job. Place your hands on the mat, roll up into table. In table, our shoulders are above our wrists, our hips are above our knees, and if we look between our legs, we shouldn't see our feet. Inhale first, cow. Drag your spine down, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale. Cast. Dragging your spines up, gazing at your navels. Inhale. The cow. Exhale. The cat. Good job. One more time. Inhale. Exaggerate the motions. Open up that spine. Exhale. To cat. Good job. Come back to a flat back. Inhale that right arm straight out. Left leg goes back. Flex your foot. We're in sunbird. Looking out just beyond your mat, your thumb is up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out. Wrap that right arm around, bend your knee, grab your ankle or your toes, pull up into modified dancer, modified boat pose. Good job. Exhale down. Inhale that left arm straight out, right leg goes back, flex your foot. Thumb is up, gently gazing just out beyond your mat. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, out. Wrap that left arm around, bend your knee, grab onto your ankle or your toes and pull up into Modified Dancer, Modified Boat Pose, opening your hearts, exhale down, good job. And then from here, let's go ahead and curl your toes under, sit back on your heels. Making infinity symbols with your wrists. Breathing in and out. Possibly draw those arms up. Over. Drag your shoulders back and down. Possibly draw your hands behind you. Fingertips touch, pushing your fingertips up towards the crowns of your heads. 
Again, the shoulders are back and down. Opening up your wrists, your fingers, your shoulders, and of course your toes, which we try to forget about while we're doing this. So do this for one minute. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rock forward on your elbows. Good job. And then from here, plant the palms of your hands into the mat. Curl your toes under. Inhale first. Exhale as you push back into Ardha Mukha Downward Facing Dog. Again, dragging your hearts towards your thighs, planting those palms into the mat, planting that area between your index finger and thumb into the mat to take the pressure off of your wrists. Maybe walking the dog. Lifting first one heel and then the other. Breathing in and out. And then from here, inhale that right leg all the way up. Three-legged dog split. Exhale, swing it forward to a lunge. Plant that back foot, 45 degree angle. Inhale up to Virabhadrasana one. Put this really powerful foot balm on last night and my feet are slipping. <laughs> Sorry about that. Again, shoulders back and down. Warrior one. Virabhadrasana one. Exhale, warrior two. And again, check that back foot. It should be parallel with the front of the mat. Reach, 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 reach. Palm up, exalt your warrior. Lift your hearts to the sky. Exhale back. Straighten your right leg, right foot in, left foot forward, coming into Virabhadrasana two to the back of the room. Good job. Draw your arms to Venus Mudra. Inhale first, shoulders back and down. Exhale as you humbly bow yourself inside of that left thigh, dragging the crowns of your heads down towards the mat. In humbly bowing warrior, draw your wrist back towards your waist before you release. Open up north and south. Again, inside angle, take a wrap. Possibly take a bind, reaching under, grabbing that right wrist, pulling that right shoulder down towards the mat, opening up your hearts to the side wall. Open up once again, look down, inhale all the way back up again to Virabhadrasana two. Cartwheel those arms down. Kick your left leg back and go through your vinyasa. Or meet us in down dog. Good job walking the dog. Inhale through your noses, side out. Inhale. One more time, inhale. 
Inhale that left leg all the way up. Three legged dog split. Exhale, swing it forward to a lunge. Plant your back foot, 45 degree angle. Inhale up. Kavira Bhadrasana, one warrior one. Good job. Exhale. Kavira Bhadrasana, two. Check that back foot. It should be parallel with the front of the mat. Reach, 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 reach. Palm up. Exalt that warrior. Lift your hearts to the sky. Exhale back. Straighten that left leg. Left foot in. Right foot forward. Coming into Virabhadrasana two, towards the front of the room. Draw your hands to Venus Mudra. Inhale first, shoulders back and down. Exhale, humbly bow yourselves. Dragging the crowns of your heads down towards the mat. Good job. Draw your wrist back towards your waist before you release. Open up north and south in side angle. Take a wrap. Possibly take a bind, reach under and grab that left wrist, pulling that shoulder down towards the mat, opening up your heart. Open up north and south. Look down, inhale all the way up. And then cartwheel your arms down. Kick that right leg back. And go through your vinyasa. Or meet a sit down dog. Walking the dog. Okay, we're going to do that one more time, this time moving into lizard. So we're doing a lot of vinyasas today. Inhale, that right leg all the way up, three-legged dog split. Exhale, swing it through to a lunge, plant that back foot, inhale up. To Vira Vadrasana one. Warrior one, good job. Looking up towards your third eye. Exhale. Vira Vadrasana two. Reach, 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 reach. Palm up. Exalt that warrior. Lift your hearts to the sky. Exhale back. Straighten your right leg. Right foot in. Left foot back. We're in Virabhadrasana two towards the back of the room. Take Venus Mudra. Inhale first. Exhale, humbly bow yourselves once again. Inside of that left thigh. Good job. Draw your wrist back towards your waist before you release. Place that right hand down, left hand comes beside it. Swivel up on your back toe. Allow that left knee to fall with gravity. And then come down on your elbows. If this is in your practice, maybe place your thumbs on your third eye. And if it's in your practice, bend that right knee, placing it on the mat, if that feels better. In lizard, opening up that left hip. Good job. Inhale as you press into the mat with that left hand. Swivel around on your back foot. Open up the side angle. Look down. Inhale all the way back up. 
to the Virva dress and then two cartwheel those arms down kick that left leg back and go through your vinyasa or meet us in down dog good job inhale through your noses side out inhale One more time, inhale. And again, this time, inhale, that left leg all the way up, three-legged dog split. Exhale as you swing it forward to a lunge. Plant your back foot, inhale up. Good the one. Facing the back of the room. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Reach, 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 palm up. Exalt that warrior. Put your hearts to the sky. Exhale back. Straighten your left leg. Left foot in. Right foot forward. Again, we're in Virabhadrasana two to the front of the room. Draw your hands to Venus Mudra once again. Inhale first. Exhale, humbly bow yourselves all the way down. Dragging the crowns of your heads down as well. Draw your hands back towards your waist before you release. Place that left hand down, swivel up on your back foot, right hand down, allow that right knee to fall open with gravity. We're moving into lizard. Maybe come down on your elbows, possibly place your thumbs on your third eye. And if it's in your practice, you can also place that left knee down if that's a little less, less uh, difficult for you. Again, opening up that right hip in lizard. Inhale, as you press into the mat with that right hand, swivel your left hand, uh, left foot around. Open up to side angle. Look down, inhale all the way up to Virabhadrasana two. Wheel those arms down, kick that right leg back, and go through your vinyasa, or meet us in down dog. Good job walking the dog. And then this time, inhale that right leg all the way up once again. Exhale as you swing it to the top left of your mat. Right knee down, left knee down, left top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Coming into Royal Pigeon. Possibly take Venus Mudra once again. And exhale down. Coming down on that left cheek. Good job. Draw your hands back to your waist before you release. You can be on your left cheek, you can be on your <clears throat> you can be on your elbows, you can be on your right cheek. Wherever you are is perfect. Opening up that right hip. Releasing any unwanted emotion that you may be storing there.
Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Come off on your right hip. Swing your left leg all the way around. Left foot is parallel to your right thigh. Bring that right foot in and that right elbow in. Inhale that left arm up and around. Find that right hip crease. Possibly take a bind in the Mariandrasana twist. And smile, it's Wednesday. Inhale back to center. Keep your knees stacked. Blades of your feet are on the mat. Again, we're in cow's face, maybe massaging the soles of your feet as you do. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 all the way down. Maybe placing your third eye on the mat. Again, rocking it back and forth, opening your intuition, opening that left sciatic nerve as you do. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you place the palms of your hands onto the mat. Place the blades of your feet on the mat as well. Inhale as you push up, extending your legs. Exhale as you walk your hands to the right all the way around. Crossing your knees, knees down hips down, sitting up straight. Good job. And then from here, inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 reach as far as you can. And then allow yourselves to curl in, maybe placing that third eye on the mat. Rocking it back and forth, opening your intuition if this is in your practice. In humbly bowing cow's face. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. And again, press into the mat with the palms of your hands and the blades of your feet. Extend your legs. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk your hands to the left, all the way around. Knees come down, hips come down, sitting up straight. And then extend your legs and shake them out. <laughs> come up to the tops of your mats in Malasana Yogi Squat. And in Yogi Squat, again, all four corners of your feet are growing into the earth. Lift your toes, flatten out your backs, hands at Anjali Mudra, backs of your biceps are just below your knees. Again, if you'd like to move into Vakasana, you can do so. Rocking back and forth on your tippy toes, rocking forward, lifting those toes, working on arm strength, core strength, and bone density as we do. You can stay here or you can come back to Malasana with us. Inhale from your root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra and exhale down again, inhale. And exhale. 
One more time, inhale. And exhale. Place your hands on the mat, inhale halfway up to Arda. Take a giant step back with that right foot. Walk your left foot all the way across, left knee down, right knee down, right top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Into Royal Pigeon, maybe. Take Venus Mudra and exhale down. This time coming down onto that right cheek. In Resting Pigeon, opening up that left hip, releasing any gunk that you may be storing there. Draw your hands back towards your waist. Release. Breathing in and out. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back. Coming off on that left hip, swing your right leg all the way around. Right foot is parallel to your left thigh. Bring that left foot in and that left elbow in. Inhale that right arm up and around. Find that left hip crease. Take a bind if this is in your practice. Inhale back to center. Extend your legs and shake it out. Bend your knees. Arms are out on either side of your knees. Inhale first. Exhale inch by inch. Vertebra by vertebra down to the mat. And when you get there, draw those knees in for a much deserved hug. Rock back and forth. Massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Take your block in hand. Place your heels just below your sit bones. Inhale as you push your hips up. Placing the block under your sacrum on the highest, second, or third levels in a supported bridge. Opening up that lower back region, or maybe walk your feet out in front of you. Draw your arms overhead in a deeper stretch, T formation or mushroom formation. And smile, it's Wednesday. We're getting new carpet. <laughs> this is very exciting. <laughs> Going to be wonderful. Draw those arms back overhead. Walk your feet in. Inhale as you push your hips up, release the block, and exhale down again. Draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth. Massage your lower backs and your kidneys. And then from here, let's switch forward. Either legs straight up, allowing the circulation to come back down to your vital organs, back down to your brains or push your hips up, walk your shoulders under into a shoulder stance. Again, feet are in Barbie feet, looking like a candlestick. Draw those arms overhead, if this is in your practice, into halasana or palm pose. Make sure you have enough room. Maybe bend your knees, placing them around your ears. 
in ear pressure pose or snail pose. And then inch by inch. Vertebra by vertebra coming down to the mat. Draw your knees in for a hug. Then exhale that right leg down. Inhale your left arm up overhead. Exhale as you push your left knee over to the right. Look over that left shoulder and breathe. Inhale back to center, draw those knees in for a hug. Exhale, that left leg down. Inhale, your right arm up overhead. And exhale as you push your right knee over to the left. Look over to the right as you do. Inhale back to center, draw those knees in for a hug. Inhale through your noses, side out, inhale. One more time, inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso, palms are up to receive, down the ground. Starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers. Relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms. Relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads. Relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position, facing the front of the room, legs are crossed, hands are to Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Wednesday. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow at the library and online. Namaste. Thank you all. It was great to see you today on this gloomy but wonderful day. I'm so excited we might have rain. And thank you so much for coming. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording.